welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph or Niramas, and of course, I'm here with Draco. We are going to uh, continue playing the Lord of the Rings journeys in Middle Earth. And now it's time for a um, battle map instead of the uh, sort of exploration map that we were on in the earlier playthroughs. And so we are going down into this sort of dungeon thing where we'll probably meet some, you know, enemies and perhaps a boss as well. I have a feeling of. We're gonna find some nasty thing down here. So what we start off here is with the load game and we go to here we have the Dracos crew this is the one we're playing here two characters but before we embark on the journey we are going to go in well we're going to go into the chapter 2 the thief's lair but before anything else happens we are going to have some camping as well. So, you have slept beyond the ruined walls of the old fort. You have an opportunity to break their foothold, but their number is too great to completely overcome. You will need to locate and defeat their leader. Yeah, that's what I had in mind. Yeah, I remember some remember something about the uh, leader. Okay, so let's continue here. And now we come to the camp sort of interface here, where we can see that we each have three XP experience points. That we have gathered during the first you know scenario we also have a lore value of eight and an inventory here and the way lore works is that our items will be able to be upgraded once we get enough lore in total as a group so we're not going to spend the lore as we go but I, when we get to a certain amount like for instance uh, Draco's battle axe need 33 lore and then he can upgrade it into a better battle axe and that's really cool that's just how the weapons and items will be upgraded as the campaign goes on but right now we can't really do anything with this but we can see that here these are the items that we have we also have this brooch that draco picked up uh, from the side quest in the first scenario so we have that and we can assign that to whichever hero we want here for when we go into a new um dungeon a new new adventure so let's check out here. Legolas has 3 XP, so that means um, I could get myself a resourceful card, which I already have one. Um, well, that's why it's green. No, no, no. A resourceful card. Okay, I can get another one, basically. And that would cost me 3 XP. Or I can get Coordinator Strike or Quick Snare. We'll take a look at those soon. Um, we have the title of Friend of Bears because, you know, we're Friend of Bears. Uh, so Legolas have that uh, card as well. And then we have Gimli here, the Guardian. He could get a Word of Glory, Noble Sacrifice, or a Desperate Defense. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go out and check out those cards and see what we want to pick up. Okay, so out here on the board, we have the three cards for Legolas and the three cards for Gimli that could be uh, added into the decks. So first of all, a Word of Glory. This one says, it's a knowledge, when you or a nearby hero set, uh, tests, what is that, it's spirit, yeah, 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 when we test spirit, or a nearby hero, you may discard a skill to add a success and scout one, and it's a guard one as well. And that's really good that it has when you or a nearby hero test spirit, hmm. Or we could go for a noble sacrifice, which is, says, if a nearby hero would suffer damage or fear you may discard this skill to suffer that damage and fear instead if you do that hero gains one inspiration and you may scout one so that's sort of like a legolas could be protecting gimli i guess hmm i don't know and then we have no 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 that's the opposite uh, way around this is for the guardian of course so that is for draco for gimli so, Desperate Defense, before you or another hero in your space perform a last stand, which is when you are about to die, you may discard a skill to add one success to the test. Guard one and rest two. But you know what, I think, I think out of these three, I think this is the one we want, the Word of Glory, so that we can, when you or a nearby hero tests spirit, you may discard a skill to add a success and scout one. And it also has a guard one. I think that's a good one. That will help out because Legolas doesn't have that much spirit. Okay, so we'll take this uh, word of glory for uh, Gimli. Then for uh, Legolas, we could go for resourceful. After you prepare the skill, gain one inspiration. At the end of your turn, you may discard a skill to gain an inspiration or scout one. That's the same that he already has. It's, it's another one of those. Or coordinate the strike 
Before you strike with this skill, if there is another hero in your target space, add a modifier of your choice to the attack. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Then we could have like a Sunder to destroy armor or whatever we want. And the quick snare says, before you strike with this skill, add stun to the attack. That's a strike one. Oh, stun isn't bad either. But I really, really like this resourceful. Because it is, you know, it's so good when you prepare it, you gain an inspiration. And then at the end of the turn, you can discard it to get another inspiration or scout one. So we're going to add that one to Legolas deck. Okay, so back here in the app, we are going to tell the app that we bought resourceful. For Legolas and for Gimli we got the Word of Glory. So now we have 0 XP, but we have new items. So now we have 16 cards in our decks. Uh, so that's how the cards will add up as the campaign goes on. And I don't know if you can remove the starting cards. Uh, um, the rulebook says that you can sell cards that you have bought. So later on, if we feel like it, we can sell these and get some of that XP back, I guess. So now we will just uh, continue here. Now we can select a hero to change roles. If we wanted to, Legolas could change. He doesn't have to be a hunter for the whole campaign. I think this is really cool. This is quite rare, I think, as well, in a game that you can change up as you go. But I think that will add a lot of variability to the game. So now it's time to embark and go into this battle map scenario. So let's see what happens. Okay, a living silence hangs within the old stone walls. Apart from the sound of knife and the crackle of small fires, there is no sign of defenders. Place the battle maps as indicated. I will do this uh, off cam and I will show you in a minute. Then we see here, as you draw closer, the smell of too many people living too long in the wild surrounds you. Closing in on a single flickering light, you enter an inner courtyard. Place heroes as indicated, each hero scouts three. Alright, so I guess we should do that right away then. We should scout three to see what kind of cards we get up and we can have something prepared here at the start of the scenario. So let's do that. Okay, so out here, as you can see, Draco is ready to get into the adventure. He's, you know, sitting next to the box cover here and let's pan down for the actual battle map and with nothing out here yet we're going to add terrain here as we go we have some terrain on the ready there on the left but now we're going to scout three so first off Legolas will take his deck we shuffle this up a little bit did shuffle it as I set up the game as well but you never know and then we'll draw three cards and let's see what we can prepare here so we have the resourceful, oh I do like that one, that one that we just bought, because as it says after you prepare this skill gain one inspiration. Oh here's the other resourceful, the one we started with, or we can do a precise strike which is to be able to strike three. Um, but let's, let's just do the basic uh, resourceful then, so we get that prepared, which means also that we start the game with one inspiration. And these cards, we will put uh, this one on the top, because it has a success, and this one on the bottom. Then we do the same for Gimli Draco, as it's called. I understand it's a bit confusing using both of these names and all that, but I'll try to just keep it to Gimli, basically. Okay, so three cards here, and we start off with the Clever Wit. So this is the one that when we test wit, we can discover this to add a success for wit. We have the time of need. When we test, if we do not reveal any successes, you may discard this skill to convert all inspiration tokens or inspiration symbols to successes. That's a pretty good one. And on yielding spirit, this is the same as the wit one, but this helps us when we test spirit, we can discard this skill to add one success. I think we'll do the... Hard to know what we will have. Let's see... Well, I don't think we test wit that often, so I think we'll do time of need out here. And I think we'll put these on the bottom because they both have the fate symbol the, for the inspiration. So it's better to have uh, them at the bottom and hope that their success is there at the top instead. So that was the scouting three. Now let's head back to the app. Okay, so we did the scouting and let's continue. The fatigue of many days journey and too little sleep washes over you. You take a deep breath and carry on regardless. Each player gains one weakness and places it on the bottom of their deck. Okay, so the way this works, I forgot to mention that, but when you start a new scenario, then you get rid of your old weakness. 
and now you get a new one. So we still only have one weakness in each deck, but the thing is that way you sort of get another weakness. Now, as the, as the game is now, there's no difference between the weaknesses. They're all just a weakness. They're all, they only clog up your deck and, and ba basically just makes it so that you don't get the success when you draw it. So therefore, I haven't changed those out. I guess you should, but I, I really like that golem one. So I'll, I'm just going to keep them, for. but then you know how it works. You're supposed to remove it at the end of the scenario and then add in another weakness at the beginning of the new scenario. The thing is, I, I guess that means that in the future, some we will have weaknesses that actually does something negative except just being there. So let's continue. So now it tells us to place out some bushes. I'll do this off cam. And some walls. Okay, three walls. So this is how the battle map can be built like this. And it's kind of cool how the app actually animates that after it's placed. I wish I had some cooler, you know, 3D stuff, but I'll get that in time, I guess. Probably, uh, you know, be looking at some 3D printing and such. Place the following terrain, one fire pit, one boulder, okay? Okay, from the shadows surrounding you step menacing forms. Torch in hand, an orc shouts out the warning. We have guests. Defend the courtyard. Okay. Here he comes. Oh, it's an elite guy. One ruffian elite on the indicated space. And there's a, another elite ruffian. Okay, so two different groups, basically. Or, like, two different guys. And there's, let's see, a rusted old portcullis rattles close behind your silence. But beyond it, you see others gathering their arms and courage. If you could jam the mechanisms, it would slow down what reinforcements may come. Okay, so I guess that's, place the threat token as indicated, I guess that's what we're going for. On the other side of the ruin, a rude shelter has been erected, the largest structure you have seen. His canvas door has been painted with a strange sigil, a twisting jagged shape that is both foreign and f familiar. Now we got two lore, and then we place a search token, okay? As your foes spring forward, you grit your teeth. These orcs from Mount Graham and the ornament of the thieves is beyond what you have expected. A greater threat is at work here. You must find answers, and quickly, for you have but moments before the might of this company is awakened and brought to bear against you. Objective updated. Find the leader of the orcs and thieves. Okay, so we're supposed to find the leader somehow here. And there's the action phase. And I think we should also try to jam that, that portcullis over there. But okay, so let's set up the board and we'll be back to do our actions. Okay, so before we head out to the table, I do want to mention that in the app here, you can click these items and see how they change up the map. So the bush here says bush after you end your turn in a space containing a bush you may test wit if you get two then you pass and if you pass you become hidden and if we would become hidden the hidden hidden card is a boon it says if you are attacked before you test prevent all damage and discard this boon when you attack you may discard this boon to add one success so that that's really good we probably want to go over there to the bush and try to become hidden then we can also check the walls here. It just says that the walls, spaces separated by a wall are neither adjacent to or nearby each other. Okay, then we have the boulder here. While in a space with a boulder, if you test to negate damage or fear, you may convert one fate icon, one inspiration, to one success. Oh, that's really good. One inspiration to one success um, just for free. Oh, I like that. So we might want to be fighting over here at the boulder. Then we have the token over here, of course, and the, sh the search, but we also have this fire pit. While in a space containing a fire pit, if you attack, you may discard a card with the fate symbol from the test to apply pierce or smite. That is really cool. Pierce is a way to uh, get by, to bypass the enemy's armor, and smite is this attack ignores the enemy's sorcery. We haven't seen any enemy with sorcery yet, but I'm sure they're gonna come. So out here on the map we have set the things up, the enemies and the terrain. This doesn't look that exciting with these wooden tokens or these cardboard tokens, but anyhow, this is how it goes. Okay, so we're out here and I think now in the action phase, I think we want to just focus on killing one of these um, enemies right away. So let's see, how would we go about doing that? I think, I think the best actually is to have Legolas 
uh, use a special thing, a special ability, which is that, you know, to uh, once per round, during your turn, you may spend one inspiration to move one space without provoking attacks. That's the free movement, basically, if we spend that inspiration that he started with. And I think I'll do that. So let's spend that and have Legolas move here. Because from here, he can shoot both these guys. And now he has two actions still left. So he can start attacking. So, uh, yeah, I guess we just start attacking this guy over here. And by the way, I did forget something. That he should have a banner each as well. They're both elite. And they, we want to be able to separate them, so that's why we have these banners out here to show that. So let's head into the app and see how strong they are. Okay, so we are shooting at this guy over here with this uh, symbol here. And uh, let's see, he's a ruffian, he's armored, so he has five health points and one armor. And let's attack him and see what happens. So we have to do a test of course for the bow, which is going to be agility. So we're using the bow here to get some successes hopefully. And we're going to draw uh, four cards for agility. So we start off with a success. That's great. We did prepare that so we knew it was coming. Then that's a fate token or fate symbol. And then we have the one with double fate. And then finally, come on, we need one more success I think. And that's the lazy, so no successes there, which means that we only have one. Oh, we don't have any way. Now I wish we still had that uh, inspiration. So we only have one success. That was a bit unlucky, but we can do two hits at least, at least. And now the damage disappears between the scenarios. So we're not raged anymore, which was really nice to be raged because that added two hits all the time. So we only have two hits, that's just sad. Okay, so we type in our two, and that's not gonna be good, because, you know, he has the armor, and he's going to get the armor back as well, so yeah, that's really bad. Uh, the good thing, though, is that he's not ranged, so he cannot attack back, because Legolas is shooting with the bow, so no. And I guess we'll just do the same thing again. Let's see if we can, you know, get a bit more lucky this time. And now this guy only lost one health because the armor do, does regenerate between fights. Okay, so once again, it's four cards for agility. We get one success, that's good. And that is a blank. Then we have another success, okay. And an inspiration. So two successes with a bow. That is a total of five hits. So I think that's going to be enough, right? If I don't <laughs> remember incorrectly here. Let's see. Okay, so five hits for five, apply, and he's going to be dead. Nice, okay, so we remove him, and you or a nearby hero gain one inspiration. So I'm going to give that inspiration to uh, Legolas, because I think he could use it really well. He could use that to, you know, move and all that. So only one guy left here, and now it, up, it is time for Gimli to go fight him, I guess. But first, let's see how strong he is. So we'll click this guy here. Oh, he's a large, okay, so he has seven health. He doesn't have any armor though, but seven health, that's gonna be tricky to get. So let's use that battle axe and swing wildly. All right, so it's time to uh, use the battle axe and we'll see. It's might, so it's four cards for Gimli and he gets a inspiration. A success, another success, okay, that's good, and a blank one, okay, so two successes, which is not going to be enough, hmm, because that is sadly going to be six hits, and we need seven, well, hmm, nothing we can do about it, and I did forget something, of course he needs to move first, one, two, <laughs> he's over here, <laughs> So easy to forget things. Okay, so yeah, 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 he moved first of all and now he attacked. Let's type in those six hits. Okay, so we're attacking here and we got six hits, which is you know, so sad. This means that he will also be fighting back because he can attack, he's in the same space as Gimli. So let's see, you stare with a steely resolve as your foe advances with, pra with practice swings of a club. And now we have Agility Negate, which, you know, Gimli is not that good at that. Okay, so we suffered two. If you suffer damage from this attack, become emboldened. Oh, 
Ah, I don't like that. But remember, because we are in a space with a boulder, we can when we need try to negate now, we can we can convert a inspiration to a success. So let's see how that goes. Now the issue here is that Gimli only has uh, one in a, two in agility, but since he's wearing his ring mail, he only has one because the ring mail is sort of you know making him less agile. So he only gets to draw one card. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, I don't see how this is going to work out, but let's draw one card. And that was follow. That's Gollum. Oh no, <laughs> Gollum showed up the wrong time. <sighs> yeah. So you could get rid of this. When you test, if you do not reveal... No, no, no. If you do not reveal any successes, you may discard a skill to convert all uh, inspiration to successes. There were, there were no inspiration there at all. Just an ugly golem. So, yeah. Nothing there. Gimli will take two hits. Okay, so Gimli uh, will take two damage. He's also going to be emboldened, which means that at the end of the turn, if there are no nearby enemies, discard a spoon. If you suffer damage or fear, discard a spoon. And when you attack, add two hits. So he's going to be stronger actually in fighting. And he will keep that card as it looks now. Because the enemy will be there at the end of the turn. Anyhow, we should first of all get him to damage. So first of all, we have uh, this one here, Dazed. Okay, and it says, keep this card face up. Before you interact with the threat token, you must spend one inspiration. Okay, so Gimli is not going to interact with that threat token over there. Um, we're going to have to have Legolas do that. Then the other one is, okay, so this is a Wariness, flip this card face down. So it's just a face down damage, but now Gimli has two out of the six damage that he can handle. Okay, so we didn't have any help of that boulder because we, draw the, we drew the followed, the weakness. Yeah, okay. So Gimli was uh, a bit hurt there, it's not a good start, but at least we get rid of one enemy here in the first uh, round. And now let's end it and go to the Shadows face. So, the shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by 5. And, okay, we can, it's only up to 26 here, so we don't have that much time. And we'll also have a, you know, an event here as well. That's not looking good. Now we have the rally phase. Each, oh, so the guy... Oh, yeah, yeah, he didn't attack because he was exhausted. But he already fought back and all that, which, that's good at least. And now each hero resets the deck, and we scout too. Okay, so time to reset the deck. And... Do some shuffling, and then we're going to scout two for Legolas. So here's two cards, and we get Undying Might. This helps us to get a success when we do a Might test. And Clever Wit, this is for Wit. Mm, you don't have to prepare a card if you don't want to, but right now, you know, Legolas only has one card prepared, so why not get another one, right? So let's get the Might one. He's, he's really weak in Might, so let's get that one. Let's put this one on the bottom of the deck. Then we do the same here for Gimli. And let's see what he gets. And I also, you know, an interesting thing that occurred to me was that you can actually prepare a weakness just to get it out of the circulation. Uh, it doesn't do anything for you, but then again, it's not going to be in your deck, right? So so we have the ready defenses. This is a good one. When you test to negate damage or fear, add one success. And it's a guard to discard to prevent two damage or two fear for here in your space or any combination. And the word of glory. Here's the new card that we bought. When you are a nearby hero test spirit, you may discard a skill to add a success and scout one. And it can also work as a guard one. But we don't know if you're going to test Spirit right now. I think we'll take the Ready Defenses. Even though it has a success, it's not good to take it out of the, the circulation. But yeah, I think we'll take that one. So that means that, uh, you know, we can defend ourselves a bit more from attacks and so on. And also, we should not forget that we, are, we have this one, which will add two hits. Um, yeah, that, that's a good boon. And we'll put this new card at the bottom because it doesn't have any successes or anything like that. So. so that was that. Now we go into the actions. And I think we are going to start off... Huh. I guess Legolas could start off just shooting at the enemy there. Because if he can kill him... Then... 
I mean, I'd rather do that than have Gimli fight, because if Gimli fights and he didn't, he doesn't kill the enemy, um, then he will hit back. But remember, the enemy only has one health. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have let's have Gimli uh, fight instead. Because then Legolas cannot move. Yeah, if he dies, then Legolas can move in here and so on. Okay. So fighting with Gimli, we are going to use the battle axe, of course, and we're going to see four cards. And I only think, yeah, we only need one success. And that's not it. That's not it. Come on. <laughs> that's that's an. Wow, we just need one success. Come on, game. Well, we could always use the time of need, but yeah, do we want to do that? Ah, oh, do we want to do that? Because this time of need, that would turn, you know, since we didn't get any successes, it would turn all these fate, fate uh, symbols into successes, which would be four successes. That's way overkill. But I'd rather do that so that we get rid of that guy, so that Gimli can move on his second action. So let's let's just let's just spend this one. All of these become successes, which means we have a total of. Four successes, let's tell the app. Okay, so we're fighting this guy here. And Gimli is, with four successes, uh, he's actually doing a total of eight hits and Sunder. So Sunder doesn't do anything right now, but he's doing eight hits. Just for fun, I'm gonna type it in there. Overkill, okay. So, well, he's gonna get an inspiration. Okay, that's good. So now he can also move. So here's the inspiration for Gimli. And then he can also move, right? So let's see, this guy is gone. So let's see, I don't, since he has that um, dazed, I don't, I don't want him to, oh, actually he got two more hits. I forgot about it already. We have this one, so when you attack, add two hits, wow. Well, okay, I don't think that really mattered, to be honest. So where does, yeah, okay, let's have him move one, two, so he can investigate this token next turn. Now, for Legolas, I think he will move one, two, and interact with that portcullis. I'm just afraid that to jam a portcullis, you might need strength, and then we would, I would much rather have uh, Gimli do that, but the problem is that Gimli is dazed, so it would cost an inspiration for him to interact with the threat token. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so Legolas is over here, and we interact with this for his second action. The portcullis is caked with rust, but seems to be functional. Sabotage, and this is an action, so... Alright, so finding the chain that raises the portcullis, you attempt to unbalance the weights and break it. Uh, then he needs to test his wit. Oh, that's interesting. He has three in wit, so yeah, let's go do that. Okay, so... Wit is uh, three here for a Legolas. So we draw three cards. Let's see, Does we, do we have anything now? We could have taken that Wit card, but we took Might instead. Uh, this one, because I, you know, I suspected that it would be, you know, heavy to lift or whatever. But okay, so three cards. Let's see how many successes we can get. That is not a success. That's one. And that's one. Okay, that's good. So two successes and nothing else we can add. So let's see what happens with two. So we entered two successes in here and confirm. The chain snaps, shrieking and clattering as the mechanism shatters. Threat decreases by six. That's awesome. Wow, we get rid of the threat. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, discard this threat token. Wow, I'm happy about that. I thought it would be more than two needed, but okay. So, but that was it. Now we go to the shadow face. I'll probably get some threat back, but it was good to get rid of that so that we didn't get the threat event. All right, so now we only get threat increased by four as well because we removed the threat token. Those add one uh, as well. We didn't see any threat tokens in the first part of the playthrough, but they work just as the exploration token. If they're out there and we haven't deal dealt with it, then it adds one to the threat increases. But now it's four. And I guess that's it. Yeah, now we go to the rally phase. So we are going to once again scout two. Okay, so let's uh, fix the deck here for Legolas and shuffle that up and then we scout two. And we do have, still have, we have two slots left to prepare cards, so that's good. And also, by the way, Gimli would get rid of his emboldenment because he wasn't next to any enemies at the end of the round. 
which is kind of sad, uh, but okay. So we get two cards here for uh, Legolas, and it is either Immortality, oh this is a good one, Rest 2, we can discard this at the end of the turn to discard 2 face down damage or fear, or Strike 2, when you attack discard this to add 2 hits. Or it's Keen Eyes, your ranged attack can target enemies at one additional space away, so you can shoot really, ooh, and it's a Strike 2, this is a hard choice. Because I think we will find some boss or something and we need to attack him and then, you know, shooting a one space, you know, away, more away than he's already doing, that could be really handy. Then again, this could help him survive. So I think we'll take, we'll take the immortality. Also, it doesn't have any symbol at all here. So I'd rather prepare that and put this in the mix again because at least this has a fate symbol which we can use inspiration for. Then we do the same here for Gimli. And we're going to shuffle this up. And Gimli uh, only has one card prepared, so two new ones, and let's see what it is. We have the Kinship. Before a nearby hero tests, you may discard a skill for that hero to reveal two additional cards. If they are a dwarf, you may scout one. So obviously there's going to be more dwarfs added to the game. Right now, Gimli is the only one. And the Followed. <laughs> we could prepare this just to get rid of it. Uh, huh. You know what, let's do it, because he, he has a lot of room. He only has one prepared card right now, so why not just have this uh, prepared there, put this at the bottom because it doesn't have any symbols. So then we know that this deck just got a little bit better because this card is not in there. That, yeah, that could be a strategy actually, as long as we have room down here, I mean, why not? Okay, and now in the action phase, I think, well, the, the only thing we can do out, out here now, right now is to interact with this token. There's nothing else we can do, so let's have Gimli interact with it and see what happens. Okay, so let's click this and let's see. A lean to displace, a lean to displace a strange symbol painted on its front. Your foes position themselves to defend this structure. Their leader is surely within. That is somewhat weird because <laughs> within? I mean, I mean, judging by the you know how big these things are but anyhow we can choose action to interact here to sneak forward or to taunt the leader out i don't think we're gonna be sneaking i mean gimli is not much for sneaking which is a ring mail and all he's just gonna taunt here reading your weapon you call out a ringing challenge to whoever may be within and he's going to test his spirit oh that's good he has four in spirit so gimli with four in spirit is going to do a test let's see what he gets so he has one success that's an inspiration, that's a blank, and come on, that's a inspiration, hmm. So I think, yeah, I think he's going to spend his uh, one inspiration to make it into two successes for total. I think that's worth it. So we enter two in here, confirm. There is a silence following your brave words. Then an en enormous scarred orc steps out from the lean tube. He has nearly donned his chest plate, but tosses it aside in response to your taunts. Come, little one, we fight. Place one orc marauder as indicated. This is Gulgotar, the orc leader. Right, so we got uh, that guy out there. And let's see, the scarred orc bears a large tattoo on his bloodless arm. The, sh the same strange sigil you saw painted on the tent. The symbol is an amalgamation of orc superiority and something foreign, or perhaps very old, like a twisted script of westerness inscribed by an evil hand. Regardless, the reverence of all those around him mark this orc as their leader, and if defeated, surely your foes will flee. Lore increases by one, and now we have a final objective to defeat Gulgotar. Okay, so here we go. So let's check him out, first of all. He's an orc champion. He has 8 health and 2 armor. That's not that bad. I mean, we can do a lot of damage if, uh, yeah. Okay, so I think we'll just attack him right away because Gimli has only done one action, which was to taunt him out. Now, let's have Gimli attack him. Okay, so this guy is out here. He doesn't look that badass, to be honest. I mean, he's just a small figure, but anyhow. So Gimli will attack with his uh, axe, of course, and yeah, we'll just draw 4 cards and we'll see what happens. So he has four in might, so we get a inspiration, a double inspiration, one success, and well, okay, so two successes in total. So that's pretty good, and he doesn't have any cards that could help him out now. 
so yeah two successes that's that's good we are going to enter that in the app well we don't enter two successes we, we use those two successes with the battle axe to get six hits in total now we could go for we could use one of them to do two hits and one sunder to destroy one of his armor the problem is though that the rule states that you cannot use the same thing twice on a weapon Otherwise, I would have gone for that and just got four hits, but got rid of his armor. Now, since we cannot do that, let's just type in six hits instead. So there we go. Apply. And now he will hit uh, Gimli back, of course. Wow, this is not good. The Orc Lieutenant knows much of battle tactics and combat to your dismay. Oh, wow. And uh, let's see, we will have Wisdom negate. So this is kind of interesting. Let's head out to the table. Okay, so uh, Gimli only has a Wisdom of two. So the thing is, when, because of his ring mail, he's been carrying this around the whole adventure and it's only been, you know, making him bad at agility. So why does he have it? Well, it's because of this. If you would test uh, a Wisdom, Spirit or Wit to negate, you may test um, Might instead. So instead, because of this ring mail, he, instead of drawing two cards with his Wisdom, he will actually draw four cards with his Might, so that's awesome. So here we go, let's negate a bunch. So Ancient Wisdom, that's not good. <laughs> and then we get another Inspiration. Wow, no successes, what is this? Come on, no, not a single success. That is terrible. Uh, we could, however, because we have this ready defenses, when we test to negate damage or fear, we add one success. Hmm. Yeah, so we do add one success. We have one success, plus we get rid of this card. We discard it to, to guard two, so we can get rid of two more. So in total, we can get rid of three, but we're taking three damage and three fear. So which one should we be taking? I think, I mean, we look here, Gimli has, he can only take four fear, but he can take six damage, but he already has two damage down here. So we should probably mix. I think we'll take two fear and one damage. Okay, so let's start off with the damage. And it is feeble. Suffer one face down fear, then flip this card face down. Okay. So now he has three damage in total, and he also gets one fear face down because of that card then he gets his first fear which is anxiety flip one fear face up and this then flip this card face down okay so now he has to wow because we took them in this order wow he did, earlier he didn't have any fear so he didn't have anything to flip face up but okay this will be flipped face down this will be flipped face up hopelessness Discard two prepared cards or suffer two face down fear. Wow, then discard this card. He doesn't have two he doesn't have two prepared cards. But this goes away, but he gets two face down fear. Wow, that was terrible. That was terrible. Okay. So now he's up to three. Oh, we're gonna have a last stand. Because now he has three fear. And he still has to suffer one more. But you know what? Then we can, you know, we can take that as damage instead. I don't think you have to choose them all at the, at the start. You can choose one and see what happens, I guess. So let's just do one more damage. And it's exhaustion. Keep this card face up. When you scout during the rally phase, you cannot place cards back on top of your deck. Oh, this one is the one that he had earlier. Okay, so in total now, um, he has three of each. Three fear, three damage. No, four damage. Wow, okay. So four damage, two face up, two face down, and he has three face down fears. So he's really in bad shape. Okay, so Gimli is done. He fought bravely, but he took a lot of damage back as well. So that was, wasn't was good. Maybe we should have done Legolas first, had him shoot in first to weaken this guy, and then have uh, Gimli finish him off. But, you know, it's already done. Now it's time for Legolas, though. And sadly... He cannot shoot from over there because I, you know, if I have taken the other card, but I don't think this, I think this wall would have blocked. I don't know. But now he is going to move uh, one over here and he's going to shoot in at the boss. So once again, we open this uh, boss portrait here and let's see, he has, now he has four health left and two armor. I think there's a chance that we could kill him if we get lucky here with Legolas. 
So let's fight and Legolas will of course use his bow with agility. Okay, so time. Time to use that bow and hope we get lucky here. Let's see, what does we do what do we have that we could We have this immortality, strike two, add two hits. That yeah, that might be a thing. But first of all, let's draw four cards, see what happens. So we get a blank. And inspiration, which we don't have. Oh, there's a success. And that's oh no, it's lazy again. The one success is only going to be two hits. So even if we even if we spend this one to add yeah to add two strikes it's still only four hits but let's do it we have to do what we can right so let's spend that and we get a total of four hits so we add those four hits in and he is going to survive for another round which is an issue because he might kill Gimli but he cannot attack back because uh, you know he doesn't have range, right? So let's go to the shadow phase because we've done what we can. Well, actually, Legolas has one more movement point, but I don't see any reason for him to move uh, at this stage. So let's just go to the shadow phase. And the shadow deepens. Okay, so now we will get a threat event as well. A bandit archer on a high wall loses a shaft with practiced precision as more enemies scramble into the courtyard. Oh no! Gimli suffers two damage and agility negates. Wow, that is terrible. That is just... Why, why Gimli? Oh, come on. Okay, so let's see if we can negate anything. Okay, so uh, once again, because of this ring mail, he only has one agility. And yeah, he this does not help him out in this case. So... Wow, and he only has what is it? Yeah, he has two life left basically or two he can take two more damage So he would draw one card and It's not a success. He doesn't have any inspiration. Oh That's tough. Okay, so Gimli will take two Damage which means he will do a lost stand, but at least I can show you how that works then Okay, so the first uh, damage for Gimli is Weariness that just flips down becomes a face down damage The second one is awareness. Okay, so but he has a total now of six Damage and you know, he has a you know, he can take six damage So now we will have to do a last stand and see if we can survive Okay, so we're going to do the last stand, but it's we're sort of in the middle of this process here So, so I guess we'll just do this. We'll place a goblin scout over there and two goblin scouts there okay and let's see continue and now through okay so now we do the last stand so now we pre press this button down here yeah yeah we're gonna scout uh and this let's see what happens okay so we tell the app that it's gimli and we have to do a last stand and it is for damage yes okay so you muster your last ounce of strength and we need to test the might and he only needs one success. That doesn't sound too hard. Come on, game. Okay, so Might, of course, with Gimli is four. He only has one card here, so we need to shuffle in the middle of it here, but there's that's not a success, so let's shuffle this up. But, okay, so we need one success in four cards. Come on. Should be able to do that. And we even have, we also have prepared this followed, so that's not in the deck. That raises the odds, so here we go. And that's not a success. And that's an inspiration. He doesn't have any inspiration. Come on, I don't want Gimli to die. Yeah, he's done for. Wow, that was terrible. Poor Gimli. Oh, that's so terrible. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't die. He comes back later on. But now, Legolas only has this turn to finish this. In the next shadow phase, it's over if, if Legolas cannot complete it. But, you know, he has a good chance. He's standing here right, right next to this guy. He has two attacks he can do. So let's just do the first one for him. All right, so Legolas has his two attacks. But first, we need to do a rally, remember? Because this happened, like, sort of in the, uh, you know, in the middle of the shadow phase. But then we, in the start of the next round, we will do rally, to, rally and we will scout too. But I... I guess Gimli doesn't do it because he's out, he's knocked out. But we're gonna do it for uh, Legolas, of course. 
So let's shuffle up his deck here. And let's hope that we, you know... Uh, yeah, he needs to kill this orc. So let's hope we get lucky here with the... Something good that we can prepare that would help him out in that fight. So, shuffle up a bit. Let's draw two cards. Let's see what we get. And it is the uh, spirit card and the resourceful. But when we prepare this, we gain one inspiration. Yeah, this is good. Um... Yeah, this is good. You know what? Let's cheat a little bit. Let's say that he he actually used his uh, his other resourceful at the end of the last round to discard this to get one inspiration. Let's just say he did that. And now he uh, he takes this resourceful and he puts it. Uh, he prepares it, and then this one I guess we'll put at the bottom. I guess yeah. Okay. Right, so that was the rally phase. Now we go into the action phase, and now he will try to shoot this boss here. And he's going to use his bow, and we're going to draw four cards for the agility test. So come on now. That's an inspiration. Double inspiration. Oh, success. And finally, another success. Okay, so I think we made it. Two. And let's see, we can even spend, we can spend one of these. So that's a total of three su successes. With the bow, that is a total of seven hits. We use both of these uh, options here. So that's a total of seven hits and we go and enter those into the app and I think we might have made it. Okay, so let's get this Gulgotar out here again. And yeah, now we will enter seven hits. I hope that this is it. I hope that we make it by doing this and we apply those. Remove Gulgotar. You are a nearby hero, gain one inspiration. Okay, so we get one inspiration back. All right, let's see. Goldegotar falls to his hands and knees, uh, gasping for air and spitting dark, vicious blood. You step forward to subdue him, but something in the orc's carriage gives you a moment's warning. In a flash, he lashes out and attempts to sw sweep your legs from beneath you with his own. Wow. So he's not dead. Okay, so the hero who defeated Goldegotar will test agility. All right, so let's, let's go do that. Okay, so another agility test. Luckily, it's Legolas here, so he has four cards. That was good that it was him who defeated him, the boss. That's a blank, though. That's a success. That's a inspiration, and that's a blank. So let's spend one inspiration to get two successes in total here, and I hope that's enough to, you know, finish him off, basically. Okay, so we enter these two successes here. Before you even strike the ground, he regains his feet and brings his massive fist down onto your chest. The impact of your fall and the strike of his hand land at the same moment. You suffer three face down damage. Place Gulgator in the space with the hero who tested. Continue your assault. Wow. So we didn't make it. Oh, that was tricky. Okay, so first of all, he moves into Legolas space then, basically. Um, and then... We Legolas suffer three face down dam damage, and there's no negating or anything, it just gets three face down. But he still has one more action. So, how strong is he now? Oh, wow, now he's back to full health. He's orc champion and huge. Wow, this is not going well. Oh, wow, this is so bad. So, there's no way that Legolas can take him out, and I don't want to fight him when he's in the same space. And he already took three damage, three face down damage. He only can, he can only take four before it's the last stand. And you know he has to kill the boss before the shadow phase, otherwise we lose. So yeah, we have to fight him. But I don't think there's any way that we we possibly can get this. But you know he he's just gonna try because there's no way he, he could run away. But the problem is then the shadow phase comes and we lose this because Gimli was knocked out. So I don't think we can win this. So let's fight him again. Okay, so another fight with the bow. We're in the same spot now though, which is not that great. Uh, in any other case, I would have spent this to do his special thing and move out of there before we fight. So that he can't hit back. The problem is we're going to lose in the shadow phase no matter what. So the only chance we have, which I don't think is possible, is to kill him right away right now. But let, yeah, let's, let's just try. So we use the bow, we get, need like, you know, I don't know bunch of successes this one that's lazy that's an inspiration and that's an inspiration we use this 
So that's two successes in total, which will be five hits with the bow, but it's not going to be enough. Oh. Okay, so we got five hits. We apply that. And he can hit back. Wow. Yeah, that's... that's... Okay, so we'll see. Legolas can negate with the... Uh, with the might okay so four and two okay so this is what we're up against and we're going to try to negate using our uh, uh, might which he's not that good at to be honest uh, however we uh, do have this one the cloak before you suffer damage or fear you may spend one inspiration to prevent one of those but we don't have any inspiration uh, we also have this undying might that we will absolutely use that will be one guaranteed success but we need to draw two cards, so let's see what we get. So that's an inspiration, and this is an inspiration. So no successes. And we can spam this one to get one success, which means we can remove, basically, doesn't matter. We can remove one of the damages. But, you know, we only have, because of the three face down we took as well, we only have one damage that we can take. So let's take a look at this one. It's entangled. Keep this card face up. Uh, when you perform the travel action, you move one fewer space. Oh, wow. Okay, so he has that. I don't think he would take the other ones. Uh, at least that's how it worked in Mansion of Madness. If you're already knocked out, you don't take the other ones. I think that's how it works out. But he has to take the fear. And the first one is going to be Impending Doom. Discard one prepare card or suffer one fear. Then flip this card face down. Well, let's just discard one prepare card then. To flip this face down. And then the other one is greed. Deplete another hero's um, trinket. If you cannot suffer one face down fair. Okay, but we can do that. Because Gimli does have, you know, a trinket. <laughs> from from the last play, uh, scenario. So we can deplete that. Which means, uh, yeah, he can't use it. But he's knocked out anyway. Okay, so now we need to do a last stand with Legolas here. Um... Uh, not that it really matters because as soon as we've done that we go to the shadow phase and it's over because Gimli is knocked out So you know what? I think we'll just speed it up. Uh, you've seen how the last stand works So now I think we're just gonna go to end it All right So if this wasn't bad enough after this attack, we would also get rid of all boons now We didn't have any boons, but I mean this was terrible So now we just go to the shadow phase here And I think it's gonna say that we lost the Sun rises and in the gray light of dawn your strength finally gives out yeah. You push forward to finish your task, but the defenses of your foe remain unbroken. More defenders slip down from the walls around you. You have run out of time. The great orc lieutenant, Gulgutar, jeers incessantly as you make your hasty escape and barely avoid being surrounded and captured. So we got out of there at least. And let's see. You set up camp a short distance away, hoping to remain out of the bandit's sight while keeping them within your own. You spend the night resting and recovering, and the following morning you realize that your foes have slipped away in the darkness. You pack quickly and locate the trail, intent to not lose your quarry again. The heroes have let Gulgotar and his band escape. They will need to follow close behind to have a chance at stopping the dark plot afoot. Lore increases by one, and each hero receives three experience. So that was the whole sort of second scenario, or the battle map part of it. And let's see... Okay, <laughs> so that's it. Now we this only this the end because that's the end of the demo um, build of the app. So in a few days we'll get the actual app released, the game released, and I'm so excited for that. It's going to be so much fun, and I'll play it a lot. I probably will be back with with some playthrough in the future where I might play some scenario. You know, when we get like an expansion, I might you know play some expansion scenario and all that. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough series, three playthroughs, I hope you enjoy them. There's been some issues with the editing, with the lights, with the studio, there's been a lot of work be behind these uh, playthroughs uh, because I had to switch back and forth between the app and the table and, and get everything working out. But I hope it worked out okay and that you could follow along and you know enjoy the adventure and get a feeling of how this game plays and, and judge for yourself if, if it might be a game for you and your friends. So thank you so much for watching and have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.
Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden. <laughs> 